The bacteria known as Vibrio vulnificus is typically found in warm climates like the Gulf Coast. Scientists said in a recent report that the bacteria has been slowly spreading north over the last 30 years. Elizabeth Archer is one of the researchers. So between um, 1988 and 2018, and every year it was moving northwards at a rate of around 48 kilometers. At this point, case numbers are relatively low. We see sort of around 80 cases per year in the East Coast currently, but that was the figure for 2018. So yes, it is a low, um, low number and the mortality rate is about one in five for the wound infections. Still, the virus is cause for concern. You just need a tiny cut on the skin or even like an insect bite, and this can become infected through exposure to the bacteria in seawater. Researchers say the spread of the life-threatening bacteria is likely caused by rising temperatures warming coastal waters. An increase in the temperature can increase the salinity of the water where the bacteria can thrive. When you start looking at temperature increases, we've been going at that sort of rate of uh, 1.2, 1.3-ish. But if we get up to that 1.5, then we're going to have summers that are very similar to tropical um, as high as you know, Quebec City. People with underlying health conditions are more at risk. They need to be aware that if they're going swimming, they shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't go swimming if they've got cuts. We're not trying to scare everyone with this flesh-eating bacteria. It's really important to look at and it's a really severe infection. And I think it highlights that connection between human health and health of the environment. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.